Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. But let's say we go 20 and 0 down on kills. Let's say Minasper are absolutely vibing. We will eventually scale. You know, it's like that's that would be the comms, like the entire game. I'm protecting Nande on the squishy range hero. So more work at the office for the side of Manaspa here. And down bottom, we yet again see this poking and prodding and the inability of Manaspa to really bother oh, this other side. But top lane, they actually get a kill onto Ace here. They managed to zone him away. Shouldn't feel too bad about this lane. The one consequence of all this poking and prodding, though, is that this mid lane, as even as it is, is probably not going to change as Wish is starting to get a little bit more farm. Top lane spotting. Hopefully trying to run down Tofu here. Not going to be able to do so. And they miss with the Illuminate Blast. So Spartan uh, might not die, but he died. Oh, he spent too much time on the tower. Eats a couple of Eret's hits and maybe feeling himself a bit too much. Decay is not that strong anymore. It's been nerfed a couple times, fam. Yeah, that was not really the play. <laughs> tower, tower shots are pretty strong early on, but I guess at least he gets to refill his HP. Just going to have the most exciting game of Dota 2 down in the bottom lane. That's about top. Oh, Skylark down bottom. Gonna try and make this move happen, Celery. Putting some damage out. Like you said, they did end up leveling up the net. Skylark should end up falling here. A couple of more right clicks is all they need. They want to leave it for Diraichu. Skylark, all your body blocks on point, my friend. Can you make this happen? So far, so good. He's actually juking him out. Diraichu been dodged out entirely. Oh. He hasn't snared back up online, but they should be able to find him eventually. However, simultaneously, while this is happening, on the other side of the map, they also run down the ace keeper of them. Diraichu, of course, is still just chin-chilling, farming it up, doing very exciting Naga things. I'll be honest, I actually hate <laughs> watching this hero. Like, I mean, who doesn't? Whew. Everyone hates Naga. I hate Naga. Well, you know who doesn't hate Naga? Naga players. They just enjoy watching the MMR counter go north, watching the gold counter go north. In mid lane, we're going to maybe watch gold go north through kills as the Rolling Thunder initiated for the first time in this game. Wish completely chain disabled. And we do see that Desire, unfortunately, might have ended up griefing his. Able to just get himself into the trees. I guess they want to just stack, uh, stop the stacking happening right now. Make sure that this Naga doesn't have some easy inroads as the game goes later. I mean, I do like them playing this aggressive, especially with how they're winning top, as Ace, once again, in a it's lot of trouble. Dead. Yeah, he's definitely going to get taken down here. They have access to the level 6 on Monday, so the damage here comes Quinn. certainly there. But Quinn, hoping to try and bait an additional fight. The Rolling Thunder connects twice onto Nande, with Celery being nearby as well. He's already committed the lift, but they have more than enough damage, more than enough control. And Quinn ends up... T they're looking to get revenge, maybe, because Wish is smoked up as well on the other side. Duraicho, he's the one that gets caught out, and there's going to be the drain. Unfortunately, my friend, Nets does not cancel the life drain. So Duraicho should still end up losing his life here. Ooh, these are wolves. Wolf form. Uh, they actually go for the full shape shift on Skylark. They really want to chase down this Naga. Duraicho is still alive, finally does end up falling. And they also... You need to go back as Quinn now. Might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he, he just won. Oh, he just swashbuckled as well. He is dead See for ya. sure. Bye! That's going to be a tier 1 tower that gets removed from the game as well. Like, even though Ace can try and blast this back, Skylark is here with the oh, mini army. Shift, hello. They pop the sleep shift, they want to get more. Celery, trying to run himself away, immediately gets eaten alive by these wolves and drain. So Duraicho is a bit revealed here, does have access to the Song of the Siren. This is a dangerous place to be for this Naga Shape Siren. Shift. Long. Ends up just getting brought down. And there's going to be the shapeshift from Skylark. Trying to chomp away at Ace right now. Nice hook shot coming in from Desire. Just to try and break up the team fight. They push Tofu onto the low ground right in front of this tombstone, and the right clicks will come in from Nande. The drain is there from Wish. And with that kill, you were mentioning they could potentially go for a Roshan right now, and it feels. Or getting tankier or four staffs is just going to make it a lot, like, really a lot more awkward for Manaspa to take these five on five fights. Speaking of five on fives, Game and Gladiators might try to force one right now as they smoke up as four. Heading into the dire jungle, Spartan gets Hook himself shot. blown up with the diffusal blade on the swashbuckle as well as his bounder strike. The hookshot did come. Very nice silence from Nande to prevent the further jump coming in from the Game and Gladiators. Saves the life of the clockwork and makes them say, you know what, we've got Undying, that's probably going to be good enough for us. They're all in reliance on this clockwork to initiate, so Desire can't necessarily miss his hooks. But I would like maybe like to see them make something happen on the map, force a fight, knowing that they can protect themselves a little bit right now. And they feel like they agree. Uh, who should be the target, Jekezu? Because they smoke up as four. They're going to find Duraicho. Maybe not who you wanted There's at first. Roll. And Nande, one of the Lift. first ones caught out with the Rolling Thunder. There's the BKB. Get him outside of the Wukong command. Tofu, will he be able to survive the onslaught of damage raining in from the high ground? It's on the other side to buy some time and space. There's a shapeshift on They're the left side out. of the he fight. No they BKB really want ground. Celery, and now Nande has no more BKB. They can't protect him anymore. There's going to be the four stuff away, though, to keep him alive. But Diraicho has the ensnare. Will they eventually be able to close him down?
But can they get him? Duraijo realizing that there's too much damage from Wish. He wants out, he lets it go. Leaves the fight. Quinn gets out with the swashbuckle as well. So then Probably looking to place a ward on his high ground and then check. Roll up. There's gonna be the roll up and they will be able to find yet another kill potentially onto Spartan. He does end up dying, but he drops the two back. stone first. He does have buyback. Ooh, get used to form. The stone. And they drop the Ignis right on top of it. Shapeshift used up as well. Nande in the gang. They don't really want to get involved while this Ignis is online. It does drop now though, so big AoE spells used up by both teams. Shapeshift running out of duration here and I haven't seen much impact coming in from this Lycan just yet. And Nande, he gets caught with the sleep. He's right next to Wish as well. Both of them in a very weird spot. Hex is out. And they're gonna get the Hex out onto the Straw Ranger. Four stop will be there, but they bounce him back with the Blinding Light into this Wukong command. Not gonna be enough to keep him there though. Nande still gets out. Completely out of mana now. Does not have BKB, but we'll just have to watch the Clockwork lose his life in front of him. Wish will help top him up so he can use his items. Oh, and another hex. another hex onto Spartan. Four stop will be there yet again. Duraito playing without fear as they're trying to close down Spartan. The Ignis back online once more. And Spartan will not be allowed to escape for the second time in a row. This time though, will be forced to buy back. Ah, uh, they're just toying with them. Like, game in they're playing really well right now. They're just, like, they're just abusing the fact that it's really hard for Monasfa. Like, we can see. Lycan form is popped. If you don't feel good, it's not drops the rolling roll. thunder just to make sure that they can ensure this Roshan. And actually finds a decent target. Spartan might end up dying here, but Quinn has to watch himself. Decent damage coming in from Nande. Who really wants to try and go in, drop the gust, there's an oh, so and they actually end up stealing the Aegis because Desire jumps in at the last moment. What a Chad! Wow, that was an incredible play. What a G. You do see on the other side of the fight, Shapeshift is online. Will they end up losing this Lycan? They don't want to utilize too much of the lockdown onto him because they need to try to come back and protect the Raichu who is alone in the Roshan pit, taking damage from Nande and ends up losing his life. The Raichu is gone! Oh my! Manaspa. Coming in clutch, Desire shows up to steal away the Aegis. They force a fight in some awkward locations and none they allow to just before they try to take another fight. Uh, I, I don't think you need to wait. You just need to fight, I would say, more proper. Like how they were doing it from minute 20 to 30. High range, wait, you know, kite out the spells and then come in with the roll, play on high range with the Swashbuckle as now. Oh, we have oh. a catch on Desire. Hook shot. We have a catch on Desire, but at the same time, look what Quinn. happened. Quinn, he TP'd onto the outpost. Oh, what a bait, a desire, man. What a player. They had vision. They knew that Quinn wasn't involved in the fight, that he had to TP in to join his compatriots. That allow you to play longer fights and win longer fights. So kite them out with four steps, buy hexes to, once their BKBs are down, you can hex them out and kill them. As once again, Spartan in the front lines. Spartan on the front lines, dropped down the tombstone. An excellent scan from him to be aware that the smoke was coming. Will cost his own life, though, to break this. Oh, and there is no Nande. buyback. And oh my goodness, Nande gets the damage out onto Quinn. Thanks to Desire holding this Pango in position for a second. Unfortunately, not any crits or not enough crits from Nande. And uh, here's Skylock with his BKB active in the shape shift, hoping to try and run down Quinn himself. Not going to be able to do so. So during the duration of this oh. BKB, just needs to get out. Duraicho though, catches him with the Song of the Siren at the end of the duration. Tofu there with the Wukong's command as well. Do they have a way to lock him into this Wukong? And indeed they do with the blinding lights, the blast from the Kato, and Ace. Oh, it's going, going for his more. value, Nick. Blink forward from Diraicho, going for more onto Nande. Maybe a bit optimistic on that one. Well, just, just check in, you know. You cannot ask him to do more than that, right? He's already played well. He's the soul initiator. He stole, he snatched the ages earlier. He has a force of into Ags. Very nice items. He's just playing the role that he has to do, and he's performing very well as he runs into Diraicho in the jungle here. Right, maybe this is the Costa's curse. I haven't done one in a while. Clockwork. A little bit of danger here. Quinn on top of him. There's gonna be the way to try and get him out. Ignis will come out. Nice little hook shot there, but Quinn still chasing him forward with the rolling thunder. But Mande throwing in these right legs. Quinn saves himself by stunning him up. And Desire still, still alive, alive somehow. What? Double four stops will be there as well. Okay, here comes Duraicho. Song. song set up. Three heroes all in the line. No more rolling thunder, no more Ignis, but they still have some hexes. Double, Double BKB. BKB will come out and they turn back onto Tofu, eviscerating this Monkey King. Skylock really wants to try and make something happen. Running forward with his own BKP and the Shapeshift. Looking to try and munch down Celery. Won't be able to get there. The Ignis will hold this Lycan in position. Celery <laughs> thought he was safe but got revealed by this Rocket Flare. And will eventually get brought down as well. Both supports eaten up. Be a little more chill but I can't have both 
Darachi and Quinn go in at the same time. They need to look a little bit at their supports, like disarm those creeps, you know, with your swashbuckle or net the stuff and just protect yourselves because, as we said, longer fights will benefit gaming. Tofu gets oh, got him out with the vision. Woo! Literally gets two shot. Bye! No buyback either. Man, this is so unfortunate that this is a long Roshan timer. Desire goes in, finds himself with the some initiation. Roll Not going to be able to catch Ooh. Quinn. And Quinn trying to get away from Nandi, but Nandi just chasing him with the right click damage on the far side of the fight. Look he at got this! It. And he actually gets him! Quinn is down, no buyback either onto him. Diraijo right next to a tombstone will end up songing up. Can he get the hell out of here? Fortunately for him, they did just bring down Desire, so he doesn't have to worry about the hookshot. But Game and Gladiators, although they still maintain this gold lead, Monasper just keep taking fight. They, didn't, they literally didn't even need to do anything. Even the tombstone wasn't used, no BKBs were used. Uh, just a free tower, basically, for Manasper. Yeah, and it's starting to get very annoying, right? All this rocket spam, Nani can just stand his ground. Uh, oh, Josiah on finds Ace! And there, wait, well... Uh, are you sure he could be found Ace? I don't see anything. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. From Jiraicho. And also, you were talking about itemization. Look at our boy Lycan, just picked up a Hex, but we'll talk There's about it in a second, because Quinn goes uh -oh. in for an aggressive roll, gets stuck, and should find himself dead, but no! Monday wound up on the wrong side, so he can't necessarily keep the right clicks going towards Quinn. But Quinn will be bailed out of trouble here, but now the Hex comes in onto Jiraicho, Skylock revealing the new item. But they just can't get Nande close enough for the full damage. But that's no more Rolling Thunder, no more Ignis. Yet again, Manaspa able to force GG into a reactive position, but Jiraicho trying to play more proactively right now, goes directly onto Nande. They want okay. to get those Aegis away from him, and they will succeed at doing so. The BKB is up. Desire jumped in on the backside to just try and create some space. It's going to cost us life most likely here. And indeed it does. But it looks like it will bail out Nande. He gets off the Going BKB. you right, you're right on his face. But Nande just decides that discretion, better part of Valor. TP's out of this one. Skylark gets out too. All right, a little bit of... How much of a disaster would it have been if Nande was next to Desire as Quinn was rooted up inside those cogs? Would have been really, really bad. Well, they have the Hex out here roll. Get the Hex out. Jiraicho really dead? wants to get this kill. Nande, is he dead? Not yet. He heals up. He's still alive. BKB out of the cards. He's just going to keep going with this fight. Multi-shot hit will be there. Double kill. Not going to be enough to keep the clockwork alive, though. Both supports already gone because Quinn is just leashing out this damage. And they decide on the side of Manasper. Just try to get themselves out. Wish still blasting the wave here. So his greed is going to get exploited by Jiraicho, who blinks on top of him with the song. There is a BKB available for Wish. Yeah, Basher. With BKB. Push. Does they he get him. out? They got him. They should be able to get the kill off of this. Hex will be there as well. Jiraicho though, taking damage Ooh. from Nande! Oh my goodness, the Draw Ranger! Just showing the power oh, right now, and Nande goes in. We thought that this was a fight that they'd be able to take on the side of GG, but unfortunately, Manaspa proving that this yet again was a bait. As they bring down two, both of them have brought okay, back though. If you want to try to find Nande's life, they're going on to him. Tofu ends up dying, granting a triple kill towards Nande. But now there's no more BKB, there's no more way out, the there's no more life. Here's the rolling thunder from Quinn, connecting more on buybacks. the three heroes. Multiple buybacks coming in from Manaspa. Everybody has used it up on their team, because they really want to try... Desire is the only person with buyback on the side of Manaspa. He's looking to steal. He wants to steal. He started before, but this time Celery is there to run interference. Song they as well. dropped the song as well, but Nande Ooh. going in. No way! No way! They actually managed to do it, and this time around it's Nande that grabs the Aegis. It's gonna get taken away fairly shortly, though. No, it won't! He forced off outside of the Wukong's command. He's still alive. It's gonna drop outside of the pit, though. But Jiraicho and the gang are still cleaning up inside the pit. They've taken down Desire. He buys back into the fight. Jiraicho chasing onto Wish, and they do manage to find the life of the partner. Nande, in the meantime, able to bring down Tofu, hoping to try and utilize the additional damage. But they have to be very, very careful here. Nande. Alifaya gets the he gets hex, he has no Okay, the Rex, but at the same time, there's salvation from Jiraicho. Nande gets the Hurricane Pike away onto Jiraicho. The He's right is coming in, and he gets the kill. Quinn rolls in as well, but he might end up regretting this one, or maybe not. Because Quinn on his Pangalia, you said it earlier, he's going to become the real carry between him and Ace. They're able oh, to clean up the, the fight <laughs> and they get the TP cancel onto Skylark. That's going to be four heroes down around the Roshan pit. Yeah, it's just very dangerous. You need to know exactly. Whoa, hold up. Okay, Desire getting this full jump. Four heroes are smoked Lift up. Back. And uh, looks like he's just playing very bravely up front. Nande misses out with a multi shot, not able to connect on any of these heroes. And Quinn. Able to just run down the clockwork, no buyback onto him. Nande forced into a BKB. 
And Monasco are the ones that forced this engagement to happen, but it didn't necessarily feel like they were ready for it, Kezu. And they get punished pretty hard. Losing Clockwork, a BKB out of Nande. Okay, that was one of those mechanics where you're like, mm, should this really be allowed? Should this be in the game? Who's to say? All right, waiting room for Monasco to get a tier 5 item. It might happen now. Okay. You're actually trying to stop this from happening. Nope. Nothing from the Ancients. Roll. Quick Thunder coming in from Quinn. They force away Nande. They recognize how important this could be. Will Nande's they go in hexed. for a song? Nande gets Ooh. hexed up. Another force comes Bing in. Bong. DKB coming in. Quinn taking quite a bit of damage, but the shield crash will keep him alive right now. Skylock. BKB run out. There's gonna be the oh my goodness, the ensnare comes in from Jiraicho and Nande blinking in off the Jiraicho as well. Oh, throwing in the right link damage, but the song of the siren will be there to help cover. Tofu, not able to get himself out of here, is getting drained away and bursted down by Wish. Forced off will be there at long last to keep him alive as well. Quinn went back in, gets in the glide near. Yes, for both Skylark and Wish. Can they get anybody out of here? Desire is gonna be the first one to die. Wukong's command drop down, Wish forced into a BKB. Should be able to another leave, roll. and Quinn gets another Rolling Thunder, man. That 25 talent is way too good. And now Nande There's doesn't have a BKB. They fall off the onto the high ground. There's the Fallen Sky to chase off to him with the Nullifier. Fire. And they finally bring down the draw, but she got her buyback right at the right moment. But it not, will not matter, it seems, as Wish dies as well. Two buybacks emerging from Manasper. But they find themselves unable to contain Goli Yo, Game and Gladiators as the Goliaths of GG are too strong, man. The late game, they have the tier 5 neutral items, you do not, and you can't really do anything to stop them anymore. Okay, Desire has buyback, maybe there's some uh, really cool shit, <laughs> probably not that they can do, but... Oh, hello, oh. Raggio. Oh no, Jirai Ching Bong, another roll. He gets on to Nande, Nande is dead, gone, <laughs> and the game itself will end as well as Manasper. Throw in the towel, Game and Gladiators have done it. It took a 10 minute strategy pause <laughs> for them to be able to... Two. Difference this time around is the Beastmaster is a traditional counter to Void. Void can't really defend his efficacy in this lane as he did with the Draw Ranger. Three early kills. That's definitely not going to happen. Definitely not, as Spartan is already in a bit of trouble down bottom. Yep, he's being gone on right now. They're looking for the first blood and they should be able to find it as Tofu and Ace get the grab there. Nothing that Nande can really do about this. There's no definitely slows not. that you can leverage, no burst damage that you can threaten with. You just have to watch it happen. Yeah, that's so. The one thing I was mentioning earlier is that I there's just a couple dual lanes or a couple. I mean, they have the level three on Skylark with the double boar, so he's gonna be good to go. There's some water rune stuff going on, and I think later Desire could look for a little play on mid, maybe around the time where Wish gets six. So Spartan does drop. It's just happy to sit back and farm. Ace is also about to crack level six, so we'll have access to the stampede as well. So many playmaking opportunities for them, and he'll get there a little bit faster right now if he's able to kill Spartan, and indeed he does. So some bonus experience into the back pocket of the Centaur. A threaten Ace as they smoke up on two. We saw this smoking, ganking duo last game with Wish and Desire. This time around it's Spartan that's taking the responsibility, and they will find Ace on oh, Nande. Steals away the Centaur form. All right, that's a nice initiation. Wave form into the hoof stomp. Wish finishes him off. And already, we see that the counterplay from GG is there. Quinn has rotated to the top lane on his Batrider, but they are prepared for this move on Manasper, and they're not going to give him the luxury of using this DD rune to get a kill. Those are some really nice map moves by Manasper. So you have the top pressure from Beast and Shaker. Also, the reason this move didn't work is that Skylark had a very nice hog. It's not the one that is out there right now, but the prior one was exactly there. They saw the TP, they back off. They smoke Wish to bottom, so they're pressuring top. They don't die in the lane to the Bad Rider gank, and in the meantime, they smoke bottom and kill Ace. Very, very nice job by them. Playing really, really well on the map. Jiraicho gonna try to force a move here because the Quinn is coming back on this Bad Rider. The Firefly mm. is online. Will anybody come to assist them here? The Primal Roll goes out onto Jiraicho. Skylock knows that he's definitely dead to rights and will not be able to assist in getting anything else going to get level 6. For now, they're gonna smoke up. I'm telling you now, as a beast player, I don't wanna smoke at minute 12.30 into my own side without boots. There's also a smoke on the top side of the map, though, as they found Desire. Three heroes will surround him. They're like, oh, you're trying to soak up experience in the lane? Nah, fam. Both you and Snap Spartan are gonna be in the same boat. No level 6 allowed for you. Unless they go on to Ace here. They could try and make the same play as they did earlier. Wave form of the host stop, and indeed, that is the case. They had the chain disable with the fire snap quickie. And they should be able to bring him down. Takes some juicy double stacks. Just some more gold, you know. They all know this has happened. They're actually going to get the counter kill onto him. Wish 
shows up. Desire found a wonderful fissure from downtown. And Nande and Wish end up getting the cleanup. This feels like deja vu. We've seen this movie before. Like with their draft right now, Bad Rider, Void. It's more like these, you know, pick-off centric. So I want to see, like, do they want to go together and force something with the pipe? Or, like, what's the deal as Spartan? Uh, Kill the room! Does he get it? Hey! Nice. Yeah, worth it. In a, oh wait, what? Is he actually gonna live from this? No uh, way, no way. Quinn knows. Cool kids don't look at explosions, bro. If only. There's a oh. universe where he manages to get it, but we'll talk about it in a second as they bounce Skylark here with the lasso. They drag him back. And Skylark got a little bit exploited there. Kind of surprising. Planting Observer Ward. They see that Diraicho is farming right in Not front of them. Seeping. And they're actually going on to Diraicho. Diraicho! Fire snap cookie into some Zeus spells, and this Morty's kisses end up bringing him down. But unfortunately, that reveals the position of the Zeus. So he's just gonna get ran on by Quinn with the BKB. Bad Rider finds oh, immediate Tombstone. revenge. Tombstone will be there. And uh, there's also gonna be a fissure to block off access away from Celery, and they get the quick kill. They've just picked up a blink dagger on Sentinel. Looking on mid. Yeah, mid lane. They're gonna actually jump onto this Rubik. And that should be Tofu's life taken away. Very cute play attempted with the four staff. And. That's actually really big. Not only did they get the kill, but immediately as the kill happens, Game and Gladiators give up on their idea of smoking up. Yeah, so any, this is an opening for Roshan, maybe. Yeah, any Roshan fans? Looks like they are. You have the Shard on Spartan. They already have a, they have a good ward in the enemy jungle. They have a hog, but Desire. I'm going to try and force this fight. Desire he gets found out here by Ace. There's going to be more of these kisses coming in. They last to him as well. Sure, yeah, free yeah, Roshan sure. anyway. Yeah. Hashtag worth, can they get it in time? Yes, they can. Manasper, oh. blame themselves on Roshan. Deraicho looking for a yeah. multiple hero chrono. Will only be able to catch out onto two. They're looking for the damage onto yes, Spark. But he has to be really careful here. Oh. Wish is really exploiting him. Ace jumped into the bubble to try and follow up. Oh, he didn't get the memo. But, uh, didn't get the memo. Everyone was going back. Didn't get the memo that Nande is strong as hell. And as a result, he get yeah. did end up going for the Midas. So angling for a much later timing in this game. But it does mean that right now, Manasper can play on the forward foot. They almost managed to bring down Celery here. Wave form forward. My god, Nandi, relax! You got him! Holy smokes! Quinn is gone! Ace does not have access anymore to the Stampede. There's a Primal Roar on top of him. They try to heal him up with the Soul Rip, but it's uh -oh. not going to be good enough. Two heroes gone. Both of them calls on the side of Game and Gladiators. And now the Tier 2 will fall as well. In the blink of an eye, kids, with the entire map just feels like a very oppressive place for gamers here. But as you were mentioning, when we first saw the draft, damage into the bubble, not necessarily the best. A little bit of a misplay middle as they missed the fire snap quickly, but it doesn't seem like it'll matter. Ooh, Celery. Lasso. Barely kept alive, and Nande didn't get off the strength. Well, so he, he gets himself TP. brought down. Deraicho doesn't have TP. He's stuck on the bottom side of the map, but they might still be able to kill Nande. Oh. Nande mantas out. Barely able to escape this oh. one. Blink in, Echo Slam on okay. the with wobble, the ultimate. Wobble. Coming in from the Zeus and the Morty's Kisses brings down both support. Quinn forced the BKB just to get away from Skylark. And they now might be able to bring down Ace. They're slowing him down. The damage is going to be there. Nande, though, being told by his team, listen. Yeah, please do. Which is like, please. The smoke will expire now, Spartan. Goes forward just to try to get the uphill D ward. Will succeed in at least removing the sentry here. And he's daring them a little bit, just running in. Okay, what you gonna do? <laughs> the answer is nothing. We're gonna run away from you. Stampede. Oh, Stampede comes in. Ace gets jumped onto Skylark. Skylark will be able to at least find the primal roll. Stolen onto roll. Quinn, and the stolen roll goes immediately right back onto this Beastmaster. He's gonna end up falling here. The first casualty of this fight. Diraicho in the meantime finding two heroes inside the chrono. One of them is Nande. Desire's gonna try and bail him out. The three euro echo slam comes in. And they managed to bring down Diraicho. Nande still alive. Him and Wish are going to clean up house as three have fallen. More will follow. There's going to be the stolen echo. It does absolutely nothing. They burst down the ace. They allow the escape at least onto Tofu. But they don't care as they were wondering how they're going to be able to play this. But 28 minutes into the game in Kezu, they've already got a lane of Rex. Yep, they're only up like what? I mean, it's it's only three guys. Okay, aggressive roar, Nimbus, right. dragon, spitting on him, he's dead. See ya. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, just play Dota. Yes, I agree. Very easy. Just play. You know, I'm watching Skylock and uh, I'm watching Diracho. Uh, Diracho, 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 Diracho. Is he gonna die here? Yes, he will. Beautiful play, even with just oh two supports. We we're wondering about the damage outplay of these supports in the laning phase. This is not a problem at this mid-game stage right now. They actually do an insane amount of damage if you can't get off your BKB. That was really nice. The early snap. I want to play too passive at this stage of the game. Quinn 
Still doesn't have a Blink Dagger, so it's all going to be on Ace's initiation here. Nande, looking at the inverse rune, denies it instead. Had good intuition, and Roar. they find Quinn. There's going to be the roar. Diraijo coming in as well, but the damage onto Quinn is kind of extreme. Diraijo falls into a BKB. There's the chrono. It catches two, but it also catches Ace, so he can't necessarily assist his team anymore. Nande, can oh he get God, out of he here? Out. Yes, he can, because he steals the time walk. And now they get the damage back into Diraijo. Diraijo's gone. Desire finds the fissure on the two. And Nande, no more fear available for the small fling. As he knows, without access to the Void, nothing scares him in the map. Desire locking down the two supports. The Ace Batrider, or the Quinn Batrider, just getting chased across the map by the Small Fling. Tofu's gone as well. And Wish just bouncing Ace away from the fight. And honestly, Kezu, not only do I not see how they win a fight, I'm not seeing how they can win this game. If they can't stop the Small Fling in the next few minutes, you might be thinking about a GG call at this point. I mean, that was a near-perfect fight. As we're also going to see Celery, like, they tried to do everything in order to kill Nande, and they couldn't. There wasn't even like an, an Echo Slam to stop it. And now he's going to have an Aegis, and yeah, it didn't work out before. Fuin Quinn here, so let's see. We have to try and make magic happen somehow. They post up with Nande on the high ground. Just chin chilling, getting the tier 3 tower. Desire, finding an angle onto Quinn, and Quinn actually has to be into a BKB mode just to survive here. Still almost died regardless. To these illusions from the Morphlings and the pure right clicks. I mean, that's a big W already. You're pushing their tier 3, they're forced to use pipe, they're also forced to use a defensive BKB. Very nicely done so far by Monaspa here. Desire almost found a 2 hero fissure, got lifted up at the very last moment. Ace will try and punish him right now, but they bail him out of trouble with the fire snap quickly. Diraicho okay. going in with the BKB, but he gets Primal Road into place, and now Nante is not even hitting him, was hitting the tombstone first. And Diraicho will be allowed to escape for now, but he's in front of Wish without access to a BKB. Erstwhile Skylark pops his own BKB. There's going to be Diraicho with the Chrono, but he can't stay in the Chrono because the Morty's Kisses are zoning him out of it. Wish might try to chase him down. There's going to be the Nimbus Cloud. Some additional damage with the Arc Lightning. It's going to be good enough to kill him. <laughs> no buyback available for this Faceless Void. And Skylark on objective duty right now, and he doesn't need to be anymore because GG has been called. And Monasper show that they have what it takes not just to push Game and Gladiators to the brink, but to get a victory. To have to play Tiny. Yeah. Everyone just like comes in like full circle. He's like, Tiny. Yeah, exactly. But in this game, you have Beastmaster, so you abuse that a lot as well. So those are like the good things, but you're playing into the Sniper, which is something you don't enjoy at all. Yeah. Playing into Sniper, never an enjoyable and fun time. It just outranges you. Diracho. Diracho falling very low. Speaking of the Sniper, he might actually be first blooded here. And indeed, he will be. Desire. Continuing the magic that we saw at the end of game number two here. Being played out in the mid-river. That's just what Dota has become nowadays. He might actually find this kill onto Celery here. If they can find a decent block, but now. Uh, Skylark much more concerned with just making sure he gets all his CS. Denies as many creeps as possible. And it's starting to feel good. Bottom lane, Spartan. Glimps to F. Then I get glimpsed. There is one thing about the OD Sniper matchup that perhaps is different nowadays. The importance of this active rune is we have to snowball. They're going forward. They're bringing in Tofu as well on the Disruptor. So Wish going to find himself in a precarious situation. Does have access to the Avalanche. Will they get him out of here with the Fire Snap Quickie? They glimpse. bring him into a nice place, but unfortunately there is a glimpse here. Desire, if he was a little bit tankier on the Tiny, a couple more one charges. They might have been able to get him out of here. And he's just going to try to wait patiently. Let's see if Quinn can sniff him out. Quinn is doing oh. his best. He finds him. Sniff, sniff. Will he be able to get out of here is the question. Went in for the Astral Imprisonment. His assistance going to be coming in from elsewhere. No TPs flying in. There's actually going to be a drop down of the Sanity's Eclipse, but there's also a drop in of the Ravage. Wish TP'd into the tree line so he doesn't get glimpsed all the way back middle, but it's not really going to help him out. Won't be able to get quick revenge on bottom, but while this is happening, Skylark comboing up with Desire, they're able to bring down Diraichu, knowing that he's going to be not able to get help from the two heroes who are making a rotation bottom. Wish. Does Wish die here as well? They have uh, glimpses as well. Yeah, they do. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, they God. have eye shots and glimpses. He, he can't really run. No, Spartan. Don't do it. Don't do it, Spartan. Don't do it, Spartan. Don't do it. Okay, here comes Nande. He's going to get himself glimpsed back. Spartan shows up, finds the Fire Snap Cookie, actually gets the kill onto Quinn, and throws in oh. Morty's Kisses onto Ace as well. Will he be able to kill him? Indeed he does. All right, never mind. Do it more, Spartan. Do it more. 
Right, easy for him, TPC. Top lane more aggressively. I also like that Spartan is here, you know, to like give some follow up damage, give another follow up body, just to like give some vision and help your Beastmaster get back in this area. They won't be able to actually get on top of Dirajo. Dirajo is in danger yet again. Echo Slam gets committed. I think they've got him. So Rip will be there to try and heal him up right now. Oh, they just run out of damage. But you paid it towards the very end there. And Dirajo able to stay alive. Pops the Mask of Madness. Here comes Skylock though. The Primal Roar goes in onto this Disruptor. But Disruptor doesn't die in time. So Tofu drops the Static Storm. And that'll mean that Skylock ends up being the bonus as well. It feels like we keep seeing this one where one hero dies th and not the tide and just syncing this up with the siege creep they also have a medallion on celery to make him even more tanky so i'm i don't actually think you can defend this tower for pipe mech you were talking earlier about how the side hunter can go body to protect your towers the opposite is also true he can just be the frontliner to help you push them down even faster have a glimpse and it glimpses back to tiny who made a very aggressive jump forward here from wish Yo, bros, abort! Uh, wishful abort. jump in its own way. That's... Yeah. Well, uh, I'm glad he did that because it just demonstrates your point about how you just can't... Well, what's not gonna help is losing heroes and Skylark. Oh, did they not actually see him? Nope. Oh! Perfect tree line fog abuse by him. So it's a pretty good getaway. He'll uh, also just use the boar abuse to put some pressure onto the tower. Bottom lane though, Diraicho <laughs> is just gonna solo kill Tiny. Wow. Brigand's Blade. Love this neutral item. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's not going to happen by nature. You have a sniper who legit can go AFK after clicking a hero or a tower. So how are you going to overplay? Well, the sniper might actually find himself dead here as he gets Primal Road. Well, <laughs> cost us curse kids. You remember, we're, we're in the game right now. We're not on the panel. We've got to watch our words. A sniper just walks raw up the hill. Doesn't have his full backup crew behind him and he ends up losing his life here. We'll okay. see. <laughs> when they run together and he clicks something, he'll be fine. When he just decides to psycho in the enemy jungle, as the fight isn't over yet, Celery, hello. Uh, there's going to be an avalanche toss coming in from Wish, but Wish is also caught in a rock and a hard place. His ace is right on top of him. No access to the Ravage, but still very, very oh. difficult to deal with. Here comes Nandi at long last, and here comes some of these deep Astrals. They find themselves with a double kill for Desire. Unable to catch up to Ace, so not even going to bother popping off the Echo Slam. But that's three heroes that just... Mid's because they know, right, with the gem that they're taking the vision away. Mid, Skylark. Uh, Skylark didn't die. No, Quinn went the opposite direction. Didn't feel confident in fully committing for this one. At the same time, though, they might be decided to commit onto Wish. And Wish does not have access to a BKB. He gets astral right now. But there's limits to what your friends can do for you. As he ends up being brought down. Does have buyback if needed. But fortunately, they're going around, they've smoked up as three, but Game and Gladiators seem to be prepared for this move, given that it's already just happened to them, but they might be able to get onto Dirajo. He's out in the open, they get him with the primal yep. roll, and there the Morty's kisses, but where's the follow-up damage? Finally it comes out, they do kill him, but at one cost, as Desire drops the Echo Slam, there's a BKB on Quinn, which allows him to bring down Nande. A one for one so far, carry for carry, and make that two for two as they add Ace to the kill list. Skylock, will he be able to get himself out of trouble? Oh, beautiful dump in from this tiny wish, able to eviscerate the Tofu Disruptor. And there's a buyback coming in from Spartan. Wants to try and keep this fight going. Desire blinks in, gets the stun onto Quinn. And will they have the Fire Snap cookie? They do indeed. The chain disable is there. Is the damage available as well? Yes, it is. Quinn's about to go down. And they are just getting through this fight somehow, some way from Manaspa. Clips back onto Spartan. Tofu wants to make sure that his buyback, buyback is not in vain, but he's getting chased away by Wish. In the meantime, Spartan, he gets taken away. It's a dieback from him. Desire ends up buying back as well. It's a dieback on Tofu. It's now 1v1. Celery versus Wish. And Celery knows that this is not a fight that he can win. I've, there's some hesitations coming out from gaming gliders in these fights. I feel like Sniper should have been able to be saved a bit earlier, maybe with a Ravage or a Snowball. Uh, from Quinn, but now, yeah, Monaspa, they're just putting themselves in a good position. They're hitting Roche now. What? Okay, I mean, there's no Ravage, and uh, Tofu is still dead with the Static Storm, and they know that he died back, okay. but they're still gonna go in for this one. Nande, can you somehow get this Roche on? Roche is on 600 HP. Who's gonna get it? It's gonna be Wish! Wish, Wish somehow snaps it. Oh, Unfortunately, Diraccio Nande climbing. might die for this, and Diraccio is here. Diraccio is completely uncontested. Wish not gonna die just yet, so he still has the Aegis, 100 HP. Will he escape away from Ace? Yes, he will. Desired. One of the last places that we saw a Sniper die was down Spartan. bottom, where they went for some very interesting smoke. Spartan will break the smoke from GG. Just give Nande an opportunity to TP out. 
Sadly, no option available for him, but you know, he'll take it. Buying space and time for his OD. Yeah, pretty good timing on the Glimmer, poking his head up, being like, oh, yep, found him. At least, you know, make sure his his cores don't die. Nani gets to TP top farm a bit. I guess he is going to finish up this Octarine. I mean, what's his item build going to be? Octarine, he has a refresher queued up, and then BKB. So like, This was already taken. No obvious easy play to go into the pit. So, with most of these outer towers taken, just going to keep farming it up. They are underneath a Hawk right now, but Tofu should have Aunt a chance. Ace. They do find Ace, but... The team is coming in to save him. I don't think they have what it takes to actually kill him before reinforcements arrive. And indeed, they do not. Ace is still fine. Right, they're actually going to oh. make the full jump. Okay, they end up killing Ace. Uh oh, Nande That's the life though. of Desire. And now Nande, he went in too far. He ends up dying too. Wish he popped the BKB, but he reaches for Tofu and he doesn't find the right show. So he's definitely in trouble. However, here comes Skylark. Skylark wants to find the primal roll, roll, but the can. headshot can't allow him to get close. He just keeps getting knocked back slowly but surely. And that is going to set up Wish for Death as well. No more BKB being available. Headshot being the peskiest thing in the whole world. And Jiraijo actually taunts him by blinking in front of him saying, I know you can't even do anything about this. And that's four heroes dead. And Ace was like, okay, if that's what it takes to kill me, I invite you to do that every single time. Uh oh, Spartan. Yeah, give, drop him the high five, bro. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's gonna die. And he's dead. Oh, that is uh, that Map makes that a full team wipe. Queen getting some ults, but then either run away or stand his ground. Because now he goes in, he drops his stuff. Sure, they always kill sniper, but they're always losing two heroes or three heroes. Yeah. Oh, it's such an expensive, expensive situation for him. And to make matters worse, they're going around again. Dead. Yeah, they're going for him, and yep, no BKB. And he's dead once again. Seventy seconds in the grave. They're going for this wraparound. Skylark already behind them, has access to the primal roll. Desire, you need to hit the biggest echo of your life, my friend. Quinn jumping onto this Beastmaster. And Beastmaster will die back into the situation. 80 seconds dead with no buyback for Skylark. And that might just be it. An exciting series ends with a bit of a whimper here as GG. The sniper is just too good. They just had no real way to get up to him. And that's kind of surprising given that this was in a first phase picked up. Game is hard as the older dodge goes, and the game's about to get harder because Game and Gladiators, they are inside the Roshan pit. They've made a habit on Manaspa of stealing these Aegises, so I'd be paranoid if I was Game and Gladiators. Yeah, go comes... kill them. Stop hitting it and go kill them, please. <laughs> there comes Modi's Kisses, Celery. He blinks up onto Spartan right now, zoning him away. He drops a Tombstone as well. Good There's Ravage. a beautiful Ravage onto two core heroes that just brought down Spartan. Nande is about to get bounced up into the air. Huge wallop coming in from Quinn. They take out Skylark as well. We're Let trying to get out Let cook. with this Tiny, but the Tiny has no way out. Unfortunately for him, there's just way too many disruptions, even through BKB. Nande about to get glimpsed back into a Static Storm. He is down for the count as well. And with four heroes in the grave, there's nothing. Okay, Gold, I'm chilling, hitting some towers. Let's go. Also, I wonder if they have a little bit of superstition. They're like, let's not even try to take the Roche. Somehow, they'll all respawn and be inside the pit and take the Aegis. So, let's just end the game, yo. I do like that they stopped going for Roche. Quinn is just one. <laughs> wow. One Yeah, you better call GG after getting yeah. lapped in your fountain. Woo. GG well played. The side of Game and Gladiators live up to the GG name. And they find...